Obviously, uh, Luke Campbell has uh, recently um, said that he's going to retire from the sport of boxing. Now, obviously, with MMA fighters and boxers alike, um, a lot of them do say that they're going to retire and that they, they, they do start to make comebacks. But um, lately, there have been a lot of fighters that have been retiring from combat sports and a lot of them have never come back. So I think it's um, worth us making a video just analysing his career and just uh, doing some sort of type of a tribute to uh, Luke Campbell and just say, saying what we think about his career and um, how we actually rank him in terms of legacy and how he carried himself. Now, obviously, um, uh, Luke Campbell is one of the most um, uh, distinguished um, amateurs that the British um, amateur system has ever produced. He won an Olympic gold medal. I think he was in a lightweight division. I could be wrong there, but I, I think he was in a lightweight division and he managed to get a win. Um, he managed to win the Olympic gold medal. I think he was in the same Olympics as Anthony Joshua, if I'm not mistaken. If it wasn't Anthony Joshua, it might have been a year after that. But he did manage to win an Olympic gold medal. Um, and uh, that's obviously a very, very impressive uh, feat. Um, in terms of his actual lightweight career, if you look at... Um, obviously, he had his loss against Mendy, and I think he managed to avenge that loss. But since that point, um, he's always mixed it at the highest level. Now, I actually think um, Luke Campbell had enough ability to become a world titleist, but the only reason why he didn't was because he was in a lightweight division that's absolutely stacked full of animals. I mean, even even if you look at the lightweight division now, you've got the likes of uh, Javante Davis, you've got the likes of, um, obviously, Lomachenko, you've got the likes of Tiafima Lopez, you've got the likes of Devin Haney. I mean, obviously, you've got Leonares, you've got... Um, there's the lightweight division is absolutely full of um, animals at this point in time. And I just think um, if he was in any other era of the sport, he would have definitely have become probably a champion. But unfortunately for him, he was in an era of the sport where you had the likes of um, Jorge Leonares, you had the likes of um, Lomachenko, you had the likes of Ryan Garcia, you had the likes of obviously Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez and Javante Davis and you got all these monsters in one particular weight class and despite the fact that he was an Olympic gold medalist and he was he was a very um, established amateur there's just no way that he he would have been able like he was good enough to compete at, in that era and he gave um, Leonardo's a hell of a fight despite the fact that his father passed away he still managed to perform very well against Leonardo's um he he actually gave a uh, Lomachenko a prime Lomachenko as well a really good fight and on top of that he um I think he won four of the five four of the 12 rounds which against the prime Lomachenko is very very impressive on top of that um he also um dropped Ryan Garcia in their fight obviously he got stopped by Ryan G Garcia later in that in that particular um fight but he managed to drop him as well with a left hook and um that that is quite impressive when you look into the fact that Ryan Garcia is quite touted as a as an amateur he probably didn't win an Olympic gold medal the way Luke Campbell did but he was still he still had like 200 amateur fights and won several national titles and a lot of people in the US are hyped about him and for him to accomplish that uh, against someone of the caliber of um, Ryan Garcia is quite impressive so in my opinion um, I think um, Luke Campbell if he was in any other era in the sport I think he would have accomplished a lot more like he, I think he would have won he definitely would have won a world title but because he was in an era filled with Lomache the Lomachenkos of the world the Devin Haney's the Javante Davis the Ryan Garcia's the Jorge Leonares he just came a little bit short but I don't I don't think it's nothing to be um nothing to be uh, ashamed of um he actually went in there and he gave all of them fighters hello um probably one of the toughest fights of their career I mean um, in terms of uh, Lomachenko's uh, lightweight run, I think is um, you can argue that um, that uh, right um, Luke Campbell's actually gave Lomachenko one of his hardest fights in his career. So yeah, in my opinion, um, he's got nothing to be ashamed of. Do I think he could have won a world title? I think is uh, quite possible. Um, there's been many fighters that have managed to win world titles just through grit and tenacity. I mean, if you look at the likes of, for example. Um, for example, uh, George Groves. George Groves managed to win a title um, in his fourth attempt. And I think um, uh, Luke Campbell could have done that as well. If you take into account that he's only 33 years old, he's mixed it at the top level. There's four four belts um, in this era. And on top of that, all these belts have regular belts and super belts. I think there's a very good chance that Luke Campbell could have won a world title if he kept going. But it's obviously his decisions to 
decision to make him um, he's had many investments outside of the ring so i think he's financially quite well off if you take into account all the sponsorships that he's got all the sponsorship deals that he's had from the olympics all the good money that he's made uh in the leonares in the lomachenko pay-per-view in the ryan garcia fight i think it's fair to say that i think uh, luke campbell is quite well off um financially so he doesn't have to fight and um, he said he sacrificed a lot in the sport. I mean, we probably think it's premature that he's um, retiring now at the age of 33. But what you need to take into account is um, he, he's been a professional since he won the gold medal. And he won the gold medal, I think, nine years ago. So he's almost been f competing at the top level for almost a decade now. And for him to keep um, having to go through the grueling training camps, having to fight all these top fighters and lose to them, I mean, it takes a lot out of you. So for him to retire at this point in time, he's probably thinking, I've made enough money. I've done enough for my career. I think it's the right time to bow out from the sport. I think he's made the right decision in, in the sense that he has sacrificed a lot for in, in for the sport of boxing. If you take into account the grueling um, amateur career that he's had where he's won an Olympic gold medal. And on top of that, like um, he didn't even get to mourn the death of his father because uh, he had to prepare for the Leonardo's fight. On top of that, um, I think he missed the birth of uh, several of his children because um, he had to prepare for fights against uh, Lomachenko and Ryan Garcia. I mean, he sacrificed a lot for the sport. He might not have won a world titles, but he's definitely set up their future for life. So uh, Luke Campbell's got nothing to be ashamed of, and um, I wish him all the best. And um, hopefully um, he, he doesn't make the decision to come back several years later when he's probably be 37 years old. Um, he, it's not the right time. So yeah, sometimes um, with athlete, athletes and such, uh, with a sport as grueling as boxing, um, you just wake up one day, you try to work out and you just feel like the fire's not there anymore. Like you try as hard as you can, you put as much as you can into it and for whatever reason, the fire's just not there. You can't compete, you can't, you just don't have that grit inside you anymore to keep pushing yourself because you've been doing it for such a long time. So yeah, in my opinion, that's that's what I think has happened. Maybe he's just lost the fire, the motivation to want to train. And um, that that's basically what's happened to him. So yeah, that's my opinion on this. Uh, what do you think about Luke Campbell's career? Do you think if it was in any other era in the sport, like for example, if uh, Lomachenko wasn't around, if Jorge Leonardo wasn't around, if Devin, ha if Devin Haney, Brian Garcia, all of these great fighters were not around, do you think Luke Campbell could have won a world title? Um and what, where do you rank him in terms of his uh, legacy? Like, do you think he is uh, one of the best amateurs that the Britain has ever produced? Um, tell me all of, tell me everything you think below. And do you think it's the right time for him to retire as well, or do you would you have liked to have seen him carry on with his career? Um, tell me everything you think below, and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace out.